On today's Daily Slab, we are going to be looking at a very, very large Peyton Manning sale. We are also going to be checking out the releases of the week and some XRC news that finally dropped, though maybe just slightly disappointing. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's Daily Slab. Welcome everyone to the Daily Slab. I am Nate, and our trender for today is Peyton Manning. So as far as we know, Peyton Manning has not done anything on the field to increase his values in the last couple of years. While his Omaha Productions company has taken off, I do question how much that helps with card values. It might. It might not. Uh, he is also on ESPN with his brother doing those ESPN telecasts, so that should help as well. Um, and that's relatively new. But still... You know, he hasn't played on the football field, so he hasn't been able to drive up his prices. And yet, there is one card that sold, and you can see the card here, for way more than it did in 2021. Remember 2021? The height of the card market. Uh, insane prices spent all over the place. You know, Tatis, $200 base rookies. Zion Silver is going for, like, multiple, multiple thousands of dollars. Um, and the list goes on of crazy, crazy prices being spent on cards. Well, this here Peyton Manning 1998 Metal Universe uh, PMG, PSA 10, Pop 2, this card sold in 2021. And in 2021, it sold for $30,000. A very healthy price, no doubt about it, but it sold for $30,000. Well, 2023, more than two years after it sold well after he last played football and well after the heights of the card market, it sells for $42,000. So a $12,000 increase from the previous sale. In all time, it is actually up 912%, up $38,000. Imagine being the person who bought this card for $4,000 back in 2017. Just an absolutely insane, insane rise since it's a pop two. It sold four times, you know, somebody likely is making money every single sale or has made money every single sale. So cool to see there um, and just a crazy, crazy rise and, and not really explainable, but another testament to rarity winning out in the card market. In our post of the day, you've got the XRC redemption news. Now, this is the autos. Uh, the non-autos are probably going to be different. But because the top quarterbacks in the draft class signed with Tops and not Panini, you're getting a little bit of a disappointing select XRC. Instead of Anthony Richardson being the number four player on the XRC checklist for select, he is now the number one player. So people that were buying card number four, hoping for Anthony Richardson, they're now getting Jackson Smith and Jigba. So number one is Anthony Richardson. Number two, Bijan Robinson. Number three, Jameer Gibbs. Number four, Jackson Smith and Jigba. Number five, Quinton Johnston. Um, that is a far, far cry from having the Bryce Youngs and the CJ Strouds and the Anthony Richardsons of the world on this checklist. Uh, somewhat disappointing, but you know Panini probably couldn't do much else about it. But it definitely does kind of drive the allure of select down because they, they increased print runs, they increased parallels drastically, they increased the levels they had. So the redeeming qual or the silver lining or whatever you want to call it of select was the XRC still. And now those have been destroyed by tops, leaving select, at least in my eyes, to be way, way, way down the spectrum in terms of football cards I'd want to collect. And then lastly, in what's happening, we've got the releases of the week, and it is a big week. Obviously, we've got the last week of June, so, you know, a lot of a lot of products coming out, but it, it it's a big week. So on the 28th, we've got a ton of products releasing. Chronicles Football, 2022 Chronicles Football, 2022 Immaculate Collection Soccer, that's going to be a massive release. 2022 Select Basketball, that's also going to be a massive release. 2022 Topps Chrome UEFA Club Champions uh, Soccer. Uh, we will have quite a few cases of that re um, on Wednesday for our stream. So if you want to check that out, you can go to YouTube, this channel. You can watch our stream there. Uh, 2022 Topps Renaissance MLS. 2022 Upper Deck Synergy Hockey. 
2022 Upper Deck Goodwin Champions. That's always a fun release. You get the chance at, you know, Michael Jordan, LeBron James autos in there. And then you got 2023 Rittenhouse Star Trek Season 4, which is curious because we will have a Star Trek trender for tomorrow. And then lastly, on the 30th, you've got Bowman's Best University Basketball. Um, so we've had Inception, we've had Chrome, now we get Bowman's Best for Victor Women Yamba Autos, and then lastly, 2022 Panini 1 Football. You got 1-1 one one for basketball, Panini 1 for football. Very nice cards, and a, a very, very stacked, loaded week of card releases. So if you're into soccer, you're into hockey, you're into non-sport, you're into football, whatever it might be, you have your pick outside of baseball. Not a ton of baseball releases or any baseball releases this week. But a ton of other good releases this week. So uh, hit up your local card shops if you want to check out those boxes on release day. Otherwise, you can also find them online. Uh, have a good rip. All right, and lastly, we've got our YouTube live tonight. So Aaron and I will be going live at 5 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific for our YouTube live. Every week we just talk about something different. Um, in the card market that is happening always a fun time always an enjoyable time and hopefully maybe uh, You learned something you didn't know beforehand so come join us jump into the comment section always an enjoyable time All right. Thank you everyone for watching today's daily slab if you enjoyed this video Please click that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe and I will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily slab. See everyone